Hey guys, Alex Riley here. I'm gonna make a quick video on how to use Slack. I get so many people asking me about this and it took me a while to get onto this platform, but it has been a complete game changer. My productivity has gone up immensely uh, and all my work and messages and communication with my team, but also with groups of people are is much more organized. So I highly recommend getting on Slack and going through the learning curve that you need to join. So this is a quick video on how to use it. When you log in, you're gonna click this button. The first thing you wanna do is click the little settings button right here, account settings, it opens this page, and you wanna to go to notifications. Notifications are really important because the one thing that gets annoying in Slack is when you get too many notifications for stuff that you don't want, and then it ends up being counterproductive to what your goal is, which is to be more efficient in communicating and to create a cool team feel. So one thing you might want to do right away is switch to recommend recommended not notifications. Uh, this will basically reduce your notification clutter so that you're only getting notified when important things happen, when people mention you, and then you could sort of customize it from there afterwards. So this is a great beginner hack. Just switch to recommended and Slack will automatically take care of what you get notified by. You could change these things here um, and you could get specific for like sounds if you really want to preview this and listen to what all these sounds are, uh, or you could just not have any notifications. I'm a, this is sort of on your personal preference. You're going to have to experiment with Slack to see what works best for you. I'm the type of guy that doesn't really like notifications, especially on my desktop while I'm working. So I would say nothing for the desktop because when I'm on the computer, I'm intensely focused on something and I don't want a notification right away. When I'm on my mobile phone, I don't, I might not care as much. So I'll leave these on and there could be a sound, um, or if I want that. So, um, that's pretty much it. That's like the main thing you need for notifications. I want to keep this video uh, pretty rudimentary and just get you started on Slack and you could sort of expand these things in the future. So let's go back to Slack and see how this works. Very simple to use, uh, once you get the hang of it. So there's two different parts to Slack. There are channels, which are basically, you know, they're, they're hashtagged for a reason. And the hashtag implies that that's the subject of the channel. So it's pretty easy to keep content organized or subject matter organized because you're talking about the subject on the channel. So the general channel is things for, you could see right here, I wrote the purpose. This is the very beginning of the general channel, purpose. This channel is for general questions, comments, or feedback. We'll get back to your inquiry as soon as we can. You could edit this if you're the owner. Um, resources, uh, you could see here there's a purpose. This channel is to share awesome content and resources which others may find useful to up their poker game. So these help people keep Con subject conversation organized so that someone can access what they want to learn about without getting the stuff that they don't want to learn about. So it's a great way to keep the conversation organized. So here in here, the second part is the direct messages. This is where you can message anyone that's in your Slack community and you can DM them. So I have dragon here. I could DM them. He says, he sends me up. He says, Hey dragon. I could say, hey, Dragon, welcome to Conscious Poker Elite. I'm making a video on how to use Slack. So I could send him a DM and he will see that DM. I could also do unique things like I could share, I could share emojis. Um, I could, there's a bunch of emojis here I could use. But one of the cool things about this is I, I could edit messages if I want. I can copy links share this message. I could send reminders, which is really useful if he sends me something I need to do or like something I want to follow up with or something I want to read. I could remind myself again in a couple hours. Uh, and that's really useful. So Slack's a great way for connecting with people that are in a channel that you like. Let's say you're reading something in the channel and you say, oh, this guy's interesting. I could send him a DM pretty easily by going here and um, clicking on his name and sending him a direct message. I could also view his profile here, which is also pretty easy to do. Um, lastly, one other thing is you could edit your profile here, which is pretty self-explanatory. You upload a picture and change your bio and you could change your status here. So these are all things you could do easily in Slack. The basic hack you wanna know for Slack and that's important to know how to use it is using the channels effectively. 
So here in the Share Your Story channel, this is, you could read the purpose. This channel is a way for everyone to connect, make friends, and share their story and experiences, which help them along their poker journey. So here I shared my story here. And what you want to do is when you have a new subject, you want to send it as a message. So you could say something like, hey guys, I'm sharing my story. And then that's a new message. If you want to reply to someone who's already shared a story, you want to keep the conversation organized. That's always your goal with Slack is to keep communication more efficient. So if you like Alec Torelli's story here, instead of typing a message in the, the chat, you would click start a thread and reply and say, awesome story, Alec. Thanks for sharing. This replies to that comment instead of starting a new thread, which keeps the conversation organized. So everybody that wants to talk about Alec Torelli's story will do it as a reply so that there's a thread, just like you have on Twitter. It's like the equivalent of sending a message is the equivalent of posting a tweet and then hitting this start a thread is the equivalent of replying to that tweet, which makes the content easy to share. I could also choose to share this with the entire thread, which would be like quote retweeting, which is not what I want to do. In addition, I could share message. Sharing message is the equivalent of quote retweeting. So if I want to share a message, I can say, this is awesome, but it will put this message that Alex Riley wrote underneath my message and it's starting a new thread essentially, which you know, you don't really want to do that unless there's a specific reason because it just disorganizes the content. So that's a, a quote retweet if you wanna do that. Alternatively, what you can do that's also cool in Slack, and this is a little bit more of an advanced tip, is you can organize things pretty easily. So if you wanna upload files or search for things, you can do that by having a hashtag. So you can add a hashtag to anything like um, video, and if I, hashtag video and I want to search for videos that are in this Slack channel, let's say I'm looking for awesome training videos and I search for video, everything, every time the hashtag video is used or the word video, you can find it here. So you can, and Slack also lets you search for recent or relevant. So you could find things that are related to what you're looking for, which makes it easy. There's also a files tab, which is really useful because if someone wants to upload something, um, add a file from your computer, if they want to upload a video, you can see those videos or files or documents or whatever it is listed here as attachments and you can just access them really easily. And they're also going to be organized by hashtags if you do it correctly. So that's a really useful way to use Slack and yeah, you just want to start getting involved in these channels. And the idea is just to keep the conversation organized and then to connect with other people on Slack that you see, because usually you're going to be part of a community and you're not going to know a lot of people. And Slack is a great tool for team building and getting to know everyone better. If you have questions about how to use Slack, um, I'm not a super expert, but I have been using it with my team with great success. We absolutely love it here at Conscious Poker. And if you guys have questions, leave them below this video. I will either, uh, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.